You know, one argument people make against the NIC system when they're trying to say the NIC system is useless is that if it's so important, how come people that get denied don't get arrested? Why don't they ever arrest the people that are in there illegally trying to buy a gun? And I hate when people say this. And I'll tell you why I hate when people say this. One reason I hate it is because you end up with stupid bills making it to the governor's desk, like here in Washington today, that say, if anyone gets denied on a NICS check, the, gu the uh, gun shop has to notify the sheriff's office so the sheriff's office can investigate. Well, that is ridiculous. Now, I know a lot of people will say, well, well, why is it ridiculous that if someone's committing a crime, the sheriff should be notified and be able to investigate? Well, you're not committing a crime by being denied by NICS because the vast majority of people that get denied by NICS are false denials. That's the vast majority. Most people who get denied end up getting their gun eventually after they go through a lot of red tape. Uh, well, until recently when the uh, ATF stopped processing appeals because they knew the vast majority of their denials were overturned in appeals. And I don't think they wanted that to be a, a statistic anymore because it makes them look like they are useless and incompetent, which they are because the vast majority of their denials were overturned on appeal. Now, the people that actually get denied for a reason, you know, an actual reason, even sometimes that's not legitimate. Like my sister got denied because they're like, you've got an open criminal charge against you in Alabama. And no, she didn't have an open criminal charge. She had an open uh, traffic violation charge that wasn't even her. It turned out to be her ex-husband in a car that they used to own together that he now owns. And so when they found that out, they told her, don't worry about showing up in court. It's not about you. They transferred the charges to her husband. Well, they never properly closed the charges against her. So Nick's denied her. They said, can't buy a gun because of this. But here's the thing. She had never been found guilty. It wasn't a felony. And even if she had been found guilty that day, if they said, okay, we'll just find you guilty and close the case, it would not have been a denying factor. It was not something that would have denied her the right to buy a gun. You aren't denied the right to buy a gun because you leave a car parked alongside the highway for too many days during the snowy season, which is what her husband did. And that wouldn't have kept her from buying a gun, but they used it as an excuse to deny her. So even sometimes when they say there's a reason, there's really not a legitimate reason and not a legal reason, definitely. And sometimes when someone actually can't buy a gun because let's say they do have an, a felony charge. Well, the fact that someone tries to buy a gun and has a past felony, that doesn't mean that they're buying that gun to commit a crime. And it doesn't mean that they're actually committing a crime trying to buy it. Because the only crime is if you willingly lie, you willfully lie on the 4473. And if you're some guy who's in his 50s and you're like, you mean that charge I got as a juvenile when I was 17 years old that ended up getting me probation? You know, that is... Uh, preventing me from buying a gun now as a something year old man, uh, something that happened back in the 70s maybe is stopping me from buying a gun now. I didn't even remember that. So that's not a crime. There's no crime in that. Uh, and it's definitely not an indicator that they were going to do something nefarious. It's definitely not something to waste the state police time with. So these stupid bills, all this bill here in Washington would do is waste the state police's time, waste taxpayer money, and give anti-gunners a reason to say, look at all this waste that's going on because of all these people trying to buy guns that can't buy guns. We really need to tighten up who can buy a gun. That's what the end goal of this is because they know it's not going to really do anything. Now, a lot of people have to say, well, yeah, but if someone's got a stalking warrant against them or a domestic violence charge against them, et cetera, and they get denied, they, the sheriff should know. Why? Why should the sheriff know if they got denied? If they got denied, that's not a problem. If someone was like, oh, I'm so mad at my wife, I'm going to go in and get a gun, and then they go in to get a gun and they get denied, <laughs> why should the sheriff even know? Because they haven't committed an actual crime, no matter what their intent was in their head, because even having that intent while they're buying it doesn't mean they're going to do it. So they haven't committed a crime, so why should the sheriff be going and getting them? because they didn't get the gun. They're no more of a threat now than they would have been. Now, I guess some people could say it would be a good idea, but not for gun reasons, because if someone has got a domestic charge against them, they're in the middle of a bad divorce, they've got a restraining order against them, and they go try to buy a gun, even if they fail, that's a good reason for the sheriff to think, hey, they're actively trying to harm this person, so let's keep an eye on them. But it isn't a reason for them to 
like convict them of another crime, but it is a good reason for them to keep an eye on them. And that someone, if someone wanted to make a good case for that, I would listen to it. But as far as it being anything gun related or there being a reason why people should get arrested if they fail a NICS check, that's just ridiculous. And a law stating that anyone that doesn't get approved of the NICS check has to be checked out by the state police, that's big brother. That's all that is. So no, I'm not for it. And boy, I wish people would quit saying, if you fail the next test, why don't they go after you? Because all it does is encourage morons to make stupid laws like the one we're facing in Washington today.